Oh hi there, I'm Black Bright and I'm just going to give you a quick video this morning. Um, I was listening to one of my fellow vloggers who's an immigration lawyer who goes by the name of Pinoy International. Anyway, I thought that her experience would be relevant to some of you who have pending applications with the Home Office. Because what's hap been happening with her, I did mention in a previous um, a previous video, that her client has been trying to rent property. And the Home Office has been saying she's not entitled to. And one of the um, one of your legal rights when you put an application in to the Home Office and it is pending, you're entitled to every right that you had before you put the application in. That needs to be clear. So don't think that because you've got a pending application, you have to wait for it to be approved before you are entitled to those rights. So if you had a right to rent before you put your application in, if you had um, recourse to public funds before you put your your application in, you are still entitled to those rights. Now, what happened in this particular case is that her client has been trying to rent property and the estate agent cannot get permission from the Home Office. So because that it's the um, immigration lawyer who's put the application in and knows it, she knows that the forms are correct and she knows that her client is a, has a, who's, sorry, has a family, is a, <laughs> is a family member of a UK citizen, she knew that everything was kosher and up, you know, up to par. So she calls the Home Office and says, look, you're, you are um, refusing my client the right to rent. What's going on? So the Home Office must have apologised, gave, gave her an application number and said, your, um, the client does have a right to rent. So the immigration lawyer, she calls his state agent, she goes, look, I've just spoken to the Home Office. My client does have a right to rent. This is the reference number. The, the estate agent calls the Home Office because, you know, he, th this is all about his commission. So he is going to be trying just as hard as my, um, as my fellow colleague here. Anyway, so he calls the Home Office, the Home Office says, no, she doesn't have a right to rent. So the estate agent calls the immigration lawyer and tells her. And she's now frustrated now because this is the third time. So she calls the Home Office again and says, look, my client has a pending application. She has a legal right to rent and to other benefits that she enjoyed before I put in this application. Please, will you speak, will, please, will you respond accordingly? to the estate agent. Anyway, would you believe the um, immigration lawyer calls the estate agent, says, okay, now call. This is the reference number. They've de definitely said she has a right to rent. The estate agent calls the home office and they say, no, she doesn't. Three days later, her client gets a letter to say she has a right to rent. Now, to me, that is saying that they're trying to make it as difficult as possible. They're, you know, well, particular case workers, not all of them. They're trying to, um, you know, diffuse and diminish somebody's spirit. You know what I mean? Because an or ordinarily, a person who didn't have that immigration lawyer to fight on her behalf would believe that what the Home Office is saying is true and would believe there's something in the application why she is not given the right to rent. They're not going to think that the Home Office can make mistakes, but they can. And I'm not saying all mistakes are deliberate, but you have to remember that they they're have a target to reduce net migration. They do not want any more immigrants here than they have already. So that is the situation at the moment. So I'm really, I'm really glad I came across that, even though it must be frustrating for each and every one of you who have a pending application. But the reason I'm letting you know this is that you might be sitting at home thinking that you have to wait for the result of the decision from the Home Office before you can exercise your rights. You don't. As long as you had rights to work, rights, not rights, yeah, rights to work, rights to rent, all of those rights, as long as you had rights before you put in those pending, before you put in that application,
If you had recourse to funds, you should be entitled to that. Of course, they're going to call the Home Office. And a lot of people are not going to be as persistent as the estate agent. You have to bear that in mind. They're not going to be as persistent as the immigration lawyer. That's why it's going to have to be up to you to say, um, look, I've just had this response. I've been told that I don't have a right to rent. I don't have recourse to public funds, but I had it before my application went into the Home Office. Therefore, please, will you speak to A, B, C, D and E and let them know that this is the case. And like I said, you're not entitled to anything you weren't entitled to before, but you are entitled to what you enjoyed before you put the application in. Of course, you're not supposed to defer application deliberately. You're not supposed to just put in um, an extension or an appeal just to delay the inevitable or, you know, just to buy time. You can't, you can't do that. But if you're putting in a genuine application, um, you do have that protection. And that's all for now. Bye bye.